Trials and tribulations. So. Yeah. Facts on facts, my man. Oh, look, is this uh, Proto Bank? Oh, the, yes, the, Luc the Lucina Goat is back? Yes. I feel like it's been forever since I've seen him Evo, compete. Evo, or at least in, on American soil, Evo. Yeah, I think Evo, yeah, that was the, and he got top eight at that event, too. Yes. Keep, <laughs> like, keep that in mind. He was nasty. Yeah, I heard you have to be pretty good to top eight the hardest Smash yeah. tournament in history, right? Facts. Yeah. <laughs> pretty damn good. And, of course, Japan has shown us time and time again that they are one of the strongest countries to do it in this game and you know it makes sense no Nintendo is a told. Japanese company so you know those those Wi-Fi servers kind of hit better out there <laughs> you know what I'm saying but uh that's actually ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> it's hard to disagree <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you got to do what you got to do so Can this will be fun buff on NA Wi-Fi though anything man but um yeah I mean just an incredibly talented player I think the only one that can really contest uh, Proto for best Lucina is <laughs> The best player in the world, uh, MK, oh, MK Leo. Leo yeah, yeah. yeah, and I mean, Leo is mainly Joker, but I would not be surprised if Leo is also the best Lucina. But, I mean, he kind of uses both. I so. mean, dude, did you, you, you know, you highlighted, you were pointing this out in doubles, man. I mean, Wario was looking like better than Gluto. Better than Gluto's at some point during that, their doubles run to, was, to victory. Yeah, it was you pretty know? crazy. I mean, that's, that says a lot about somebody, I'll tell you that. Yeah, and then, like, we saw Leo at Chick-fil-A, like, a couple hours ago. Yeah. And then Leo was like, yeah, that was the first time I was playing Wario. And I'm like, are you serious, bro? Are you serious? Like, it's not that hard. I'm like, man. <laughs> it's just gifted, man. Just Respect. like the talent is just spewing out, man. You know? I mean, I definitely don't think he's better than, than Gluto overall. But in, in like in that double set, like he was definitely putting in the work. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. So. Which is very impressive. Like, very impressive. Yeah. Gluto's still that dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I mean, speaking of top eight Evo, Gluto got third at that tournament. Yeah, so no doubt, man. <laughs> goes to show. Exactly, bro. Exactly. So we'll see them compete a little bit later on, but we're going to focus on Omega uh, Rugal, I believe. Uh, Omega Rugal. Rugal, uh, yeah, Omega yeah. Rugal. And uh, Proto Banham. And li like we said time and time again, we thank you guys, man. You guys are the reasons why that, you know, Team Japan's out here. we got some European representatives as well as well as from um, from South America to the Dominican Republic. So, and it's all thanks to you guys. You guys are funding all these players to the Compendium. So special thanks to you guys sitting down, watching at home. Even if you uh, didn't necessarily give money to Compendium, you can like give it a retweet and all that other stuff. Just spread the good word. It's all th all that support matters, man. It, it adds up and it builds. Yeah, up. that's the best way to put it. It all adds up. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta, you know, give a couple of dollars or so to have an impact. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Use your little social media presence, all that good stuff. And we all Gucci, baby. It's all about the community, man. We ain't nothing without you guys. There it is. All right, so we we. We definitely know Proto is, uh, I, I heard he also has a secondary banjo. So this is, I'm assuming this is like earlier rounds of his pool. So maybe we'll see him mess around with the banjo. Um, it, this is Congo Saga, of course. So, but I mean, we still could see him go to, nah, man, we ain't messing around, bro. <laughs> round one, round two, we loose, the sword is coming out. Well, we'll I mean, see. especially if he had like the, if he had the notes on um, Omega here, who's obviously playing Joker, like. That's not a character you want to give a free double away to. Yeah, <laughs> like, that, that is very I think we true. can all kind of agree on that. Very, <laughs> very tough character. Arguably the best in the game right now. Proto saw that cursor heading towards Joker, and his, his, uh, his cursor, you turned right over to Lucy. Saying, man, no <laughs> blinker either. He's his own. <laughs> Hell out my way. Right? Right, here we are, guys. Game number one. Really, really excited to see what Proto is going to do here. Again, first time seeing him on American Soil in quite some time. Uh, but when he does come over here, man, find some success. And honestly, bro, it, it's crazy because I've never really seen – Joker Lucina at top level because really on in terms of American soil the only like really top level Lucina you're gonna see take on Jokers is Proto or Leo, right? But Leo's usually the one playing Joker. So it's like in terms of like really top level, you don't get to see it too often. Of course, there is a lot of killer Lucinas like you know Shots of Mystery and all that other yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, but I mean there's levels to everything. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. There's not a insult to explain that for sure. But Proto struggling a little bit. I like the patience, though. Why do you have to read, but unable to make that sword dance connect to anything? Omega is doing an incredible job right now. The R sends out to play, and the important thing is here is that Proto is at kill percent. Sometimes, you know, the R send pops a little too soon, and you don't really got him at kill percent. The down air not spiking, instead setting upward. Oh, Ooh, speaking of up, that's exactly where he's going to go after that beautiful follow through by Omega. Ooh, I like this guy's in game tag. I see you, bro. You got the Omega sign. Into the rule. All right, all right. That, that, that's hype. Oh, that's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Proto is the one that needs to make this comeback. Probably not going to have to deal with another Arsene on this first stock, but on stocks two and three, that meter comes a little filled up, man. Okay. 
Oh no, and here comes Omega, just racking up this damage. Already 45% here on Proto. Using the gun stall, I like it. That was sick. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but Proto, finally gonna get this stock off. And like I said, the meter, you spawn in with a little meter depending if you're in the lead or not in terms of stock. Yeah. So usually on stocks two and three, around 50% is when the uh, first Arsene is gonna come out. Ooh. Oh wow, sliced them all the way up to I'm 71. Saying, well, just keeping them in the sky, like the grab too. It's gonna play oh. all kinds of, oh my goodness, he's fortunate that back air didn't that, that up air almost did the trick. Yeah, that double up air almost took him straight off the top, e. man. The down air not really spiking, kind of getting sent outwards there. Um, Omega probably could have converted into like an up air or an up smash if it got if he got spiked down. So big break here for nice. Proto, and he takes that big break and just runs away with it, hits the down smash, and now he's in the lead. Get a little bit of an advantage, man. You gotta press it. He goes the back here, and man, just he is looking so different from stock one. It's like a different player almost, man. He's a, I mean, he's just adapted quicker. Like you see him, just how well he's kind of playing around Omega, almost baiting him to always make the first move. Right, right. Just by like even just approaching, he doesn't actually have to throw out a hitbox. Okay, again, sliced up, and oh, I love the delay right there. He dropped the shield because it looked like Proto. Oh, Ooh. dang, dropped him straight down. Damn, that was a good decision by Omega. Seeing that air dodge and not letting him get away for it for free. Man, you know, all he wanted to do was up B from low. He's already at 94%. Ooh, the up B, get off of me. Intangible, you gotta watch out. It is a really good combo breaker, has been ever since the beginning of time. Yeah. We got the ledge traps, and right now, Omega got the mash. Ooh, and he got the stock as well, which means game one is going to him. Cleanly done, the execution was flawless in the last 10 seconds of the game. Yeah, and I mean, we've seen it through Leo, we've seen it through Mr. E, the ledge trapping from Lucina, probably one of her strongest traits. Obviously, like, you have the sword attribute, right? Like, the disjoints are really good, but her ledge trapping is so safe. You can throw out Nair around the roll area and cover, nor like, it's the range is so far, you're covering, like, normal getup. You can beat up getup attack. If they roll, you still hit them. Could possibly cover ledge jump. If you miss that, you can throw out the forward tilt. Like, it's just the amount of range you have that's disjointed and how much kill power you have and the damage on top of that, just one of the best ledge trapping characters in the game. Absolutely. I mean, it's also, also being piloted by somebody who just, his execution is just damn near flawless at points. Dang, Proto, calm down, bro. He, just, he just he, had the lead game one. You didn't, he didn't even win it. No, when he goes on a, like, on a run like this, it's just so hard to slow this man down. Our center not. Oh, I like that. He, he kind of like pump faked the Trump there. Oh, wow. He did it early to avoid he that. Knew, he knew the counter would be the optimal option. Yeah, yeah. And that, you know, that's the funnest part about watching Smash when they know the optimal option. They already know the counter play. You know, they, they, they're already ahead that extra step. And right. it's not even necessarily their opponent doing a bad option. Sometimes you, you get jammed for doing the good option. Yeah, yeah. I mean, people can predict when something's like, oh, this is definitely probably the best option in this situation. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to put myself in that situation. You know, I got the counterplay instead. That's why sometimes, man, I, I always like to preach this. Sometimes you got to hit him with the D-Gen stuff, bro. <laughs> sometimes you got to hit him with the day one. <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> sometimes what? It works out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so Proto actually not taking too much damage. Only 78% on this Lucina, and the combos are already starting. But looks like Arsene going to come out and play a little early with the uh, Rebels Guard. But can he make this Arsene count? I, I feel like Omega was doing such a good job in the beginning of game one, and he was getting value off the Arsene. But, you know, right after that first talk, it just feels like was Proto it? was more in control of the Arsene than he is. Yeah. Oh, the up smash was so close to connecting, but Proto drifting away with that neutral air. Trying to hit him up with the down because he snipes Ooh, the jump. That's so good, yeah, man. Needed those bullets to do some damage and they delivered on cue. Yeah, and we even saw Proto kind of like respecting the guns, but Omega just drifted so far out that it sniped him right out of the double jump in great position or precision coming out from Omega. Sheesh. Man, he's not done yet. Gee, he's, he's caught this up. Damn, man, Omega definitely finding his second win. Yeah, and I mean, for. For a pools match, this is very high caliber. I uh, <laughs> this is to get into 128, right? Like, yeah, like this is oh, crazy. Boy, what are we watching? Right now? <laughs> nah, very this is so hard. This is top 64, man. Get out of here. I ain't even gonna try to front. I didn't know who Mega was, but this guy is really good. Not too sure what region he's from, but man, very very talented Joker player going toe to toe here with Proto Banham. Whoa, back here to cover. Oh wow, he sneaks right through with the uppy, the grappling hook. It, I always find it ironic that the uh, grappling hook is a better recovery than Arsene. 
Like you, you for at least for recovering, you'd rather not be in Arsene than be in Arsene. Uh, yeah, I mean that's not wrong. Ooh, wow. Ooh, oh, wow. he was. That okay. setup was there. Yes, that yes. setup was there. That that uh the double down tilt tech chase almost got him there, but really good uh get up attack. Trying to seal it out with this back air. Proto Banham is at such a high percent. I feel like almost any Arsene move will kill, but overextending with the side B, that is another standard setup. But you know what? Proto Banham was like, I'm a step up ahead. I'm going to sink below the ledge, so you can't even hit me with that. Exactly. Because, I mean, really, what do you think? Like, he just didn't, didn't need to do that at all anyway. Yeah. So yeah. Proto was just like, oh, okay, free opening and in a tight game like this, yeah, I'm going to take that. Yeah, yeah. And Proto was the one that was behind so yep. far. So um, we'll see the first debut of Arsene here on this third stock. Racking up some damage, but Proto just getting right back in control here. Only half a meter left. Look at, look at how safe this is. Finally finds the opening with the Nair, but back here does get shield grabbing. Every time he gets hit, that's even more meter getting burned out on top of the time. Man, oh, I love, okay. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, I thought he had the read, but he might have the stack. Yes, he does. The up smash out of shield will do it. Man, and Proto. Proto ban him. What, what a back and forth. Um, I'll say games, like yeah. game one and two, it was a 2-0, -oh, 